Hi everybody, Diane with Bizzles Puzzles here with Ari, my little helper today. And I am going to be answering one of the most popular questions I get asked. And that is, how do you glue a puzzle? So I just finished a 1500 piece puzzle from Anatolian called Flower Power. So if you hang out with me for a little bit, I'm gonna go through the steps that I take when I glue a puzzle together. Okay, so the first thing that you need to keep in mind when you're gluing a puzzle is don't just glue it on your surface. Make sure that you have something underneath the puzzle because there are crevices between each of the puzzle pieces. So you'll need to make sure you put a piece of cardboard underneath or foam board, poster board. Um, for this puzzle, I'm gonna use wax paper. And then you need to choose your glue. So there's lots of different options. There's several different companies that market puzzle glue. One of them is this Ravensburger Puzzle Glue and Go. And I actually do really like this. It's really easy and convenient. Um, but it is about $4 for this bottle, which seals about two 1,000 piece puzzles. So that's a little bit pricey if there's quite a few puzzles that you're sealing. So instead, what I use to seal my puzzles is Mod Podge. Um, so when I am using this, I like to make sure I spread everything out with an old gift card or an old, um, just anything that you can like scrape on the surface. Um, I know there's people who use like the dough scrapers. I prefer to use things that are plasticky, so that's why I use a old gift card. All right, let's get started. So because the fit is a little loose on this puzzle, I'm using the wax paper because I can actually just slide it underneath. So I'm gonna get a strip that's about as long as my puzzle. Now that I have my wax paper under, it's time to put the Mod Podge on. And I use a little plastic spoon so I can kind of drizzle it in different places. And this is a little dried out. It's been a while since I glued a puzzle. So let me get this chunk off to the side. So I'm just gonna put it on all around my puzzle. Once I have a good amount, take my old gift card, I'm gonna spread it. And I wanna make sure it's getting in between all the pieces.
So now you can see I have my nice thin even layer of Mod Podge on my puzzle and I'm going to let it dry for probably about a half hour, maybe 45 minutes and then we will move on to the next step. So it's been about an hour and the Mod Podge is mostly dry. So I'm going to be mounting my puzzle to a piece of cardboard. And to do that, I use the Scotch Super 77 multi-purpose adhesive, which is a spray adhesive. So make sure you're in a well-ventilated area, you're protecting your surfaces, etc. So I'm going to make sure I have this little tapping this my wet paper. After you spray the adhesive, you'll want to make sure it's secure. So you can use a rolling pin, a can of soup, or whatever you have that you can kind of press down on. Just to make sure it's nice and tight. And now I'm ready to trim the cardboard around the puzzle. So I'm gonna put this under just so I don't cut my table. Use my razor and trim away. So that's it. I'm going to let it dry overnight and double check tomorrow that all the pieces are sealed. If I need to, I will add another thin layer of Mod Podge um, just to really ensure that everything is sealed and secure. Then it's ready to be hung on the wall. I've hung puzzles like this for years and have had no issues with pieces falling off or curling or anything like that. Um, when I am hanging it on the wall directly without using a picture frame or anything, I use the command picture hanging strips, which are two pieces and they Velcro together. So you put one on the wall and one on the back of the cardboard and then you just stick it up. So I really like those. It's also a really kind of convenient way to change out your puzzle wall decor because you can leave the strips on the wall and just put new ones on the back of a different puzzle to switch them out for seasons or whatever you like to do. So if you have a different way that you preserve puzzles so you can display them, let me know in the comments and thanks for watching.